Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I'm continuing to play through the Naval Academy again because all of your progress got gets reset um, when you go on to Core Patch 0.5. Um, so why not? A bit of a tutorial, a bit of an introduction to how to play it. And uh, last time I did uh, the USS Monitor, uh, I think I was actually on V87. Uh, I'm now all the way up to V89, so there's been a bit of a gap. Um, this mission should be a lot easier now that the uh, overpenning your turret spug isn't a thing. Um, so let's try it from the other side with the Virginia, which is an even worse ship. Um, uh, so... Debating whether I try and get two or just go for one. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow there. Uh Fultic, is that right? Or Fortic? Can't I can't read. <laughs> um and I don't know why things are so loud in my ears with the um alert box. It's really quite annoying. Hey, Divide Walker. Yes, it's the Ironclad. Uh, not that you can do very much with the Ironclad, but uh, you can have a lot of funnels. <laughs> uh, if you want. It's pretty good engine efficiency. Um, now, whilst the 10 inch gun is great, you tend not to get to fire them, so I'm just going to stick a, use the 9 inch guns, um, I'm going to go for the 8 inch casement guns, I mean casement guns, they're just regular cannons, yeah, it's going to give me only the one, isn't it? Not sure I can uh, get this in with the weight. Although we do have access to TNT 1, that's pretty nice. Uh, and super heavy shells, damn. And uh, I know I'm over on price. Torpedo, no, I didn't think we could get torpedo launchers. Barbettes, really? <laughs> hmm. How to get you underweight? Well, we don't need uh, deck armor, probably. Um, let's try and get you under cost as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you want all those guns, you're not getting a great crew with it. Um, yeah, deck armor, not important. Armor to six. I'm still overweight. God damn. Um, swap the eights. I know. Hey, Rory. Uh, sound alerts? What kind? Do you mean the things where it just plays stuff? Uh, no, because um, if you do that when you're recording for YouTube and then you upload it to YouTube, you, you just get copies of right strike with it, which is really annoying. Thank you for the bits, though. Uh, why is the superstructure armor so much? It's a bit excessive. I still need to lose a hundred tons. Um, yeah, I think the, the eight inch may be a bit too much. Um, an easy way to do the mission. Yeah, I know you put the guns up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am aware of this nonsense. <laughs> you can just stick a bunch of 10 inch guns on the top. But um, we'll try and do it without absolute cheating nonsense. Or we, c or, or we could show that off. Like, just take the 8s out. <laughs> you 
Yeah, you you can do that. <laughs> oh, midget chips and ram. I I like the uh, just stick the guns on the top, <laughs> which they still haven't patched out. Um, but we'll try and do it properly. Now I wonder if we can get away with seven inch guns. Yeah, seven inch saves an awful, awful lot. Um, full weight offset is terrible, but there's not much you can do about that. Um, probably means I can have a pretty good crew though. It's probably not going to work. So we can try it. Oh, that makes it too small. Well, mind you. Go for that size, and then we can get a pretty decent crew, and we can up armor the ship. Uh, something like that. Some parts are badly placed. Oh, thank you for the bits again. Very kind. Oh, that's true. Have you not seen that one, Divide Walker, where you can put you can put main guns on the top? Um There's a question in there somewhere. Most viewers I've had, um I think on Twitch uh something like fifty um at once. Uh YouTube Live got up to about seventy when I did that. Um and then, I mean, the YouTube videos are getting about to one to two thousand views um, in a day, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, that'll have to do. I hate, I hate these things. We might as well just try it. I know. Well, it, it's a stupid ship. <laughs> it's a way walker. It's a stupid rubbish ship. Uh, what are you gonna do? Basically, yeah, just blapping away at each other. Probably have an absolutely terrible chance to uh, pen. Should try moving the funnel, shouldn't I? Hey, got a hit. What is my pen chance? 11%. It's not going to go well. Ugh, I really hate ironclads. So much. You posted physics questions. That's a that's a typical, that's a higher multiple choice question. That is, I recognise it. Um, the old uh, person stands in a lift. Yep, Automod doesn't like that that word apparently. Automod's really uh, really fussy in the mornings. some damage. More damage. Goodness me. Ridiculous. Uh, hydrate, thank you. Uh, I don't actually have a drink. I'll get one after I've done this video. It's a miss.
Yeah, we're doing li little bits and pieces of damage. It's not a lot. Veteran crew is helping. Light early cruisers, or early light cruisers, or modern light cruisers. Um, depends. <laughs> depends a lot on the towers that you get access to. How's Millie? Millie's fine. She's uh, fast asleep at the moment. Same as ever. Snoring away. Yeah, of course, I keep forgetting this design can't actually turn around. Because um, the second you order it to turn, it goes, loses all speed. Kids, kids are alright. They're at school. Well, nursery and school. Like, supposedly the Virginia is trying to turn around, but might as well just be completely stationary. Uh, game. There we go. Oh, it's the most boring fight in the entire world. This is the problem with the ramming strategy with this, is uh, building a ship that can actually, you know, go anywhere or do anything is almost impossible. Good morning! Hello there, Chitral Dragon. Or Chitral Dagon, sorry. But ramming ships are really hard to pull off with the ironclads because like they they just getting them to have any maneuverability on this hull is impossible. Um, so you just end up missing. It would be nice if uh, the wiring would actually close in. How many types of quark are there? Uh, there are six flavors of quark. Hey, Ken. Ramming speed. I wish. I can barely go anywhere. Look. This is at full speed. Five knots. Let's say I want to close in on the Wyoming over there. And I put in a hard turn. Watch what the ship does. stays going straight and just wallows to a stop because this thing is ha it's just awful it's such a bad design in terms of seaworthiness I didn't even, wouldn't even call this seaworthy it's a river craft yeah, but speed doesn't help because the hull form on this thing is so abysmal but they can't turn. They can go forwards, but turning, no. They're just terrible at it. Thank you for the follow, by the way, uh, Fierce Rabbit. And 
And of course, the AI thinks that over a kilometer away is a sensible engagement range. When it just isn't. Uh, you kind of need to be uh, point blank to have any chance. when you finally do hit, it just gets blocked. Why, why did I choose to start the stream with doing the Iron Clad mission? You know what? I'm gonna, gonna adjust the build a bit because um, it pains me. Yeah, I do. I do actually. <laughs> I am actually aware that you want to see me suffer. It's, uh, yeah. Um. Just trying to. Just trying to think what I could do. Um. Trying to fix that full weight offset, but uh, I'm not having much luck. It does help, but uh, it's uh, still pretty bad. Uh, yes, those are cannons. Yeah, I chose the firepower buff, um, which gives me access to TNT. <laughs> Super heavies. Uh, so I'm going to go with this, and I'm going to tack on some more armor, I think. Uh, just I know I've gone over cost wise, but that's fine. You can just dial back how good the crew are. There we go. Now, with less of an offset, I'm hoping that the, the ship doesn't have that much of a slowdown issue. Uh, I might actually be able to move her a little bit. Let's try again. Yeah, this is very, very early, Ken. This is like 1860. Like it, yeah. Sloped armor. It's co it's cool concept um, to have the sloped armor. Are we not firing for a reason? Is it because the firing angle is bad? Just 
to be the firing angle. I think it's okay. It looks like the cannons can shoot to me. Stop being ridiculous. Uh, sadly, um, no, there is no uh, multiplayer component to the game yet. That would be awesome. Uh, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely appreciate that. I definitely support them adding that. Um, at the moment, it's just uh, this is the computer. How did monitor go? I did, in fact, manage monitor, um, even under 87. It'd be a lot easier now. They've updated it to fix that bug, where you could just shoot through the uh, turret. Why are the guns not firing? Weirdest thing. I know they have to be pretty side on, but this is ridiculous. See, now they're doing damage to me. Because you're just not firing for some reason. Just do things. Like, look, those cannons can clearly fire. Stupid design. Came here from YouTube. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Google. Yeah, we're going to take ages to put out that fire. There we go. Uh, like, surely you have an angle. Or at least a bit of an angle. Just this thing is completely incapable of turning. At all. I'm trying. Alright. If you want me to try and ram, I will try and ram. But look. Look at the slowdown on this thing. It's completely bottoms out. And then the anti-avoidance kicks in. And it will refuse to speed up again. Go forwards. These things are impossible to ram with. Impossible. They're impossible to do anything with. They suck. They're awful. <laughs> I would rather... I would rather use a wooden ship of the line from Age of Sail than this. Give me a hundred cannons. Not two. Please. Just give me a first rate, slap some armor plating on the side, is better than this. Right, maybe. Oh, yeah, see, there we go. We can actually fire some guns. That's fun. Doing a tiny amount of damage. Yeah, Warrior, although war Warrior, to be fair, was later than these ships by a significant amount. That was another 20 years down the line.
Well, at least I have guns actually at the back. impotently sh attempt to shoot at each other for a bit. I have been to HS Warrior. Ooh, that was a good hit. Um, really, really nice ship to go around. Yeah, I've been, I've done the uh, Portsmouth Historic Dockyards. Um, you know, Warrior, Victory, uh, Mary Rose, Exhibit, and so on. For goodness sake. Did at least do a little bit of damage there, but uh, as usual, you can't capitalize on it because you can't hit them, because you can't maneuver to keep your guns on target. And you just have to. Pray that the enemy decides to come close to you. The other thing I could do is I could armor up the deck so much that they can't. Um, I could add a even a little bit of deck armor might force them to come close. Could be a could be an option. The engines are fine. Uh, I lost my funnel. But, uh, no, the mistake I made was trying to turn. Uh, and now, therefore, all my speed has died. Uh, to the point where I actually think I am just going to rebuild the ship again. And see if we can force them to actually come close to me. So, let's put just a little bit on the decks. Um, I can increase displacement slightly, reduce the crew training slightly. There we go. That should force the AI to come closer, but we'll see. I mean, what I'd like to do is I'd like to put guns here, but if you do that, you have an even worse fall whip offset. So. No! <laughs> it, there's no point having engines buffed. But tell you what, if I fail this, I will try it with an engine buff. Shush. Marshall Pen and a Ricochet. All the partials and destroyed the funnel. a bulldog called Millie. She's a very, very silly dog. I know. I just, you just use Millie. She'd sort them out. 
Millie would be bloody more effective than this useless pile of scrap. Quite actually going to have to go and see her in a minute because she is getting grumpy. Now we've got the same issue where because I don't have any guns on the front, can't fire. It's going to go in there. Still a little bit, it's all right. Millie, Millie. Drink. Oh. See, I understand why these missions are where they are um, in the Naval Academy, but um, honestly, I think these should be like at the end, not the beginning, because they are the most annoying, most boring. I really, I really don't like the early game. <laughs> if I if I could change anything about Ultimate Emerald, I, I would change how the early game plays. Uh, and I would get rid of this mission, <laughs> or I would move it to like the end of the Naval Academy, not the beginning. Turn. No, pre-dreadnoughts are equally awful. You can probably tell that I'm not a huge fan of the pre-dreadnought era because Taskmaster is all in 1890, um, and I just hate it. I really don't like it. Um, I mean, I say hey, I hate it. I obviously enjoy the game, but um, yeah, I'm really not a fan of the uh, early stuff. Yep. <laughs> hey, Swivel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I'm glad. Exactly. Hey, John Craig. Yeah, ram it. Uh, we're going to try that next, but... Um, I might, you know, I might get lucky here. I mean, this is how fast it's going in real time.
basically a submarine at this point. How you miss it zero meters? Uh, yeah, it's, I know. <laughs> I know, it should sink. Look at it. It's because of that sealed buoyancy, isn't it? Right, full stop. Ricochet blocked. I know, board them. Do something. Oh, she's righted herself. Because she's pumping out all the water. We pumped out all of ours. I wonder if I can reverse ram. Is that doable? speed reverse ram no <laughs> it's not doable just gotta get the angle right eh? Oh, do you want to borrow Millie so that uh, you can hear the door? Yeah, she's very good at that. She's basically a, a fluffy doorbell. <laughs> she will bark at things that aren't the door, though. Got to get the angle right on the ram. Yeah. Ooh, flooding hit. Oh, that was a good hit. Killed their captain by shooting the little uh, observation post thingy. I mean, I'm glad you're finding it interesting. <laughs> it is historically accurate, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Virginia and Monitor did basically just sit right next to each other, blasting away with cannons and doing nothing to each other for 90 minutes. I remember, I think, that there was a version of this way that the uh, AI had two monitors. That was fucking hard. That was really annoying. <laughs> I just wish you could board. Like, that ram was a perfect time for our veteran crew to board. And just, like, run around on the decks and, like, throw a grenade down the barrel of the gun or something. I don't know. Would it be more effective? Oh, that actually happened. Monitor's captain 
getting blinded in that little uh, pop-up thing. I'm not surprised. Good hit. We are starting to uh, just batter their armor in. Very slowly. on the turret. It's not bad. Can do that again. I know, jump out and swim and hit them that way. Oh, a pen and flooding. Ooh, that's, that's significant. That might sink them. They have many bulkheads? Okay, never mind. But at least all their engines are out. penetrating it, my goodness. Might is the key word. Destroyed the main tower again. Uh, one thing the ramming did do is it basically completely knocked out their ability to go anywhere, which is very nice. I know. <laughs> yeah, set another guy in and it's basically just locked in a iron box at this point, which must be horrible. Oh, did I take out the, the gun? I did take out the gun. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they can't fire anymore. I, mean, I could save the ammo, but I don't actually think I can get through... 684 rounds uh, in an hour. <laughs> Actually, don't think it's possible. Might be. How many rounds a minute do we fire? 2.3 rounds per minute. So I fire 138 rounds per gun uh, per hour. <laughs> And this thing has, at most, three or three guns firing at once. Yeah, I can only get through 400 shells uh, in an hour. So uh, we don't have to worry about saving ammunition. I know grab the swords, exactly. And I am trying to turn around and ram her again. I have been doing that for a while. <laughs> As I said, the ship doesn't like to turn. We can go up to full speed if you want, but uh, it doesn't turn the ship any faster. So no, we're going to slowly plink away and uh, maybe eventually we'll do something. Uh, maybe this turns a little bit faster. Or maybe it's just moving faster. I mean, one flooding hit on the forward section and San Diego will go down. I, 
I would love to ram it. I am trying to ram it. I have been trying to ram it for about 15 minutes. <laughs> These things, yeah, this thing does not turn well. So this arrow here, this represents where I'm trying to go, the heading, and I started off facing this way, so, you know, very, very slowly, very slowly turning around. Oh, a flooding hit. Oh, sink. Yeah, there we go. Right. No more of that shite. Anyway, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Emerald Ross. Bye.